Welcome to the Ship Show, part of the Callaway Podcast Network. Your host, Jeff Newbarth, and the rest of the crew spill all of that Callaway tea. Take it away, guys. What's going on? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the Ship Show. We're spilling the tea today, whatever the heck that means. <laughs> Phone number, 760-804-GOLF. We want to hear from you. Email us, shipshow at callawaygolf.com, and subscribe and watch us on YouTube. Watch us on YouTube. All right. Hey, uh, Trevor, zoom in here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take this format, and we're going to rip this up, and we're going to throw it out, because this is totally turned into a ship show today. (laughs) We got Cliff in the house, (laughs) the cover photographer of Golf Magazine, Cliff Ensley. Some people call you C-End. I prefer to say Send. That's Send not it. true. Yeah. You said the opposite. This I know, but morning. that was in the last time we did it, so now uh, I'm going to change it up, Lex. Cliff, pull your mic in a little. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome there to the show, go. sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, well, it's weird to be sitting in front of the microphone and not taking pictures. Well, I you, used to you feel that pictures. way too. Go get a camera. You can take some pictures while we're doing this. <laughs> well, I don't know why Jason's yeah. on it here taking pictures. Anyway, yeah. the reason we're having you on this ship show uh, is you have shot the most recent cover of Golf Magazine. Featuring Xander Schauffele on the cover. Um, how cool is that? Yeah, pretty exciting. Stoked. Uh, you first, sound real excited about first, it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know me. Yeah. I don't get too excited. But That's uh, one of the fiery people around the office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's cool to get the cover. First uh, first legit cover ever. So. First legit. So what was the, the non-legit cover you did? Uh, like a food and beverage magazine. Really? You know, like oh. people in sta- standing in front of like a giant refrigerator something like that oh. wow not nearly uh it's quite different than what we're yeah. looking at right wow. now so you've been you've been with us what a couple of years uh mm-hmm. here at callaway golf uh senior photographer for callaway golf you cover all of our player shoots a lot of the imagery you see on the website um product photography soft goods hard goods you guys do a lot back there a little bit of everything yeah we also cover ogo and odyssey and all that stuff. Yeah. So getting a chance to work with an athlete like Xander, like what was it like? I mean, I know because I was there, but I'm <laughs> trying cool. to. It's cool. I mean, other people. people working with him is really easy. He's a you know nice guy. Yeah, super easy. See, the two of you are both so fiery and so loud <laughs> and so so outgoing. I can imagine a little bit of drama when you guys get together. Well, that's yeah. Not the mellow. case. It's smooth sailing. Oh. That shoot was easy. Uh, you know, we were all there uh, doing some video stuff as well, and uh, yeah, the grip guys helped us out. And, when did you find out that cover. this was going to be a cover photo? Because I didn't even know this was happening. I had no idea until uh, Hafe, Hafe Life, uh-huh. uh, Christian Hafer, told me. He's like, hey, there's, um, are these your photos? Because uh-huh. I guess somebody from the magazine had reached out to Ethan and mm-hmm. asked him if we had any photos. And they sent them all over. And yeah, Hafe told me that, uh, that one of them was probably going to be the cover. I was like, oh, well, that's pretty so awesome. So how many, how many? But then I didn't yeah. know, I, you know, I mentioned, like, oh, let me know if that's going to happen because I'll, you know, retouch them, make sure they look look good. And then uh, the next thing I know, Matt's walking into the photo studio with the magazine. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That happened pretty quick. Yeah. High praise from Christian Hafer, too. Yeah. I mean, news doesn't travel always fast around here, but this kind of blew up on the internal slack when, uh, when Ethan posted the imagery of it. I think everyone was, like, super excited because... Uh, a, we all want to root for each other to succeed, but B, you know, a lot of times we hear about things and we talk about them for months and months and months and then they happen. This leg like, literally came out of the blue. Mm-hmm. Like, like Ethan sent me a text because I wasn't in the office that day. He's like, hey, do you know Cliff has the cover of Golf Magazine? I'm like, so Cliff bought a Golf Magazine? I'm like, awesome, Cliff's reading yeah. a little bit more about golf. He's like, no, no, he actually took the photo on the cover. It was, it was kind of unexpected in, in my world and I thought that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So really like, cool. what was, what's the coolest phone call, text, Tweet, DM, spill the tea moment that, that you've had since since you've had this happen. Mm-hmm. Comment from someone. Um, yeah, I mean, Bumble I got a lot match. of feedback on, on social media. That, Bumble you know, match. Lot what? Of, I'm just spill Bumble the match? tea. Uh-huh. Lex is all into the spilling the tea thing today, Cliff. Uh-huh. I don't even know what that is. But so so who who's the best comment you, you got? Oh, I don't know. One of the most interesting ones, I think, was a friend of mine in New York. A friend of his, mm-hmm. uh, it's a like, really good story. Like so sent, <laughs> sent him a uh, like a screenshot of it. Like, hey, my my favorite golf photographer that I follow, Hayf Life, of course, mm-hmm. um, did a shout out to your to your friend, and I guess he got the you know the cover. Um, so that was kind of interesting, and it it came full circle because Hayf also made it 
semi possible for it to happen. So right. Have yeah. you talked Shout to any to like like crap to Hafe? Like, hey, I think my cover looks better than the cover you had a couple months ago. <laughs> no, we're not. Do you guys like? Is there smack talk between photographers? Because I witnessed it a little bit. Lex, you weren't there at Riv. Oh. Hafe had like a what a seven hundred millimeter lens, or is just something like gigantic. Yeah, he had the four hundred. Four hundred, and he kind of was like flexing a little bit. Like Cliff got that little uh, you know point and shoot going. No, right. I don't think so. It, you know, we were shooting different things, so. He had the right lens for what he was doing. And, you know, fun fact: Hafer yeah. doesn't like a zoom lens. Found yeah, that prime. Out. Yeah, but Good I like prime, I, yeah, I yeah. like I like the rivalry between you know Cliff and Hafe. I think this this could be kind of cool. This could be like something people are looking for. <laughs> um, the photography community is pretty supportive, for yeah. the most part. I there's no so. there's no shade that anyone threw at you. No, I don't think not that I know of. What about Jason? Is sure, Jason I'm like sure there's <laughs> haters out there? But yeah, yeah. is Jason like know, trying understand. to say that? Well, maybe he took that picture. No, not, nothing yet. Oh, this is like See, the most boring really interview ever. You're really trying to stir controversy, I'm, and it doesn't yeah. exist. I'm trying to make yeah. this interesting for the listener, Lex. I already had to rip up the format and start over. This is already our second time tape in this. Format. Well, the format didn't make any sense. <laughs> you want me to read something that's not going to no, happen? I don't. I don't. All right, well, let's talk more. When did you get your start uh, in photography? What was the first uh, photo you took? Start in photography? Actually, I got started in video. Um, and back in high school, I would film all my friends that were doing kind of like extreme sports, mountain biking, mm -hmm. surfing, stuff like that. And um, then I kind of found it like a challenge to get the perfect photo. So I transitioned into photography when I went to college. I opted to go to the photography school instead of the, the film school at Brooks. There were two different campuses. One was in Ventura and one was in Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. So yeah. then, so, all right, we've, like, for people that don't know, because you've dabbled in some, like, video things with us, like, why, like, what's intriguing about both? You said you like to find, like, the perfect, you know, moment with photography, but video is a much more fluid thing, and how do you, like, balance your interests in both? Well, what I like about photography is, like, the challenge of trying to get the, you just have that one moment yeah. to tell the story, and the challenge of doing that is intriguing to me but with video um, you can tell a much more elaborate story and you you can also get people's emotions going I think with, so what's what's with the story? different different elements what's the there. story of this picture <laughs> uh, that's the story of Jason wanting to take a photo of me with the magazine while we we're setting up to do an executive portrait so we kind of tweaked the lighting a little bit and then uh, yeah put it out on social me media all right so what's 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 next? What are you you know pushing the envelope? Because normally when people get one cover on Golf Magazine like Hafe, they like claw and fight their way to like others and others because there's this huge rivalry in the photography world. For and there's only one cover photo each month, so you got it. So what what what, what do you do? What what are things you've always wanted to try in golf photography but have yet to be able to do? Well, I'm hoping we'll be able to test some new stuff when we go to Florida in a couple weeks here. Yeah. Um, but it's exciting to get that cover because. Now it's kind of like every time we do a shoot, this could end up being a cover. Mm -hmm. uh, where in the past, it's kind of like it just sits on the server. Yeah, it was like off limits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like servers? You want to tell people about servers and how no, much fun it is looking for photos and let's servers? Skip that. Should we talk about retouching? You want to? You want to? I'm just trying to get skip into other cool retouching. photo subjects. <laughs> photos and, and videos. Photography. Yeah. Well, I, I, that's my last question because we'll walk out at that point. You, mm. you like to dabble in the drone a little bit. Oh yeah, the drone. Yeah. Flying love, excellent. Love landing not so good. <laughs> Yeah, getting in there is one part. Getting it back is yeah. sometimes a challenge. Yeah, that happens. But but away from away from work because there isn't away from work. What I love uh, about some of the passion that you've shown is for the game of golf. Because when you came here, you were not an experienced golfer, right? And Correct. and there's two ways to look at it. You can you can be scared of it, or you could just jump in. And I kind of feel like you've jumped all the way in. Yeah, um, didn't maybe played golf like two or three times in my entire life before I started working here. And then when I, once I've, since I've started, um, I play almost every week and go to lessons and everything, and I just love it. Yeah, see, so what I love about Cliff, too, is that he doesn't, he's always talking about it and encouraging other people. You know, Jason, who's just going to mm -hmm. be this nebulous guy we talk about and maybe never have on a pod. <laughs> um, you know, Jason also is a photographer here and, and did not play golf before, you know, coming here. And you've encouraged him. And I've seen you encourage other people, whether it's in the design team or people on, on the video team. Like you want to not just get better yourself. You want to encourage other people to kind of share share the experience with you. I love that. Yeah, I mean it's so it's so fun from 
for, at least to me, it's fun from a lot of different perspectives. Like the challenge is both physical and mental and you learn how to like remain calm while the stuff's not going your way, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to well, re you, reset every hole, every swing. I can't, <laughs> I can't ever imagine you're not calm. No, I, can you do like an imitation of time. Cliff Mad? Like if you hit a ball out of bounds, <laughs> like, like what, what are you doing? Well, I, I won't, you know, blow up like physically, but in my head I'm like getting pretty pissed Have off. Have you ever slammed really? a club? Yeah. Uh, no, not like hard. Have you ever like slammed a door to your car like out of anger? Have you ever run a stop sign? Probably. Yeah, but that not out of anger, oh, just okay. out of convenience. Okay. <laughs> all right. See, these are interesting things. Yeah. See, I could just talk to Cliff all day. I know. I sat. I, I. I honestly. So. So Cliff's photo studio is right outside my office. Cliff, for one time, had the biggest office in all of Callaway Golf Ball, so himself, square foot wise. Um, and when I need to just get away from the computer, which yesterday afternoon I needed like a couple minutes just mm -hmm. to get away, I just go sit next to Cliff. And because there's always like a cool image you guys are looking at. There's always interesting conversation. Normally there's great music. I, I do have to say, I think Jason, who will never be on this pod, is, is mm -hmm. a better DJ than you are. I do enjoy, Jason listens to more of the classics than you do. And, and there's certain, like, mm. Jason kind of came out of his shell to me one day. You were, you were on, on location shooting somewhere. And he just took over the, the Spotify account and just started just cranking some stuff. And I was like, this is fantastic. <laughs> Hmm. You didn't That's really care for that. No, I don't know. I, I he listens to a lot of old school hip hop. Yeah. Um, which of all the genres are probably well, old school know, hip hop? But he listens to a lot of Motown. Motown, yeah. Which I love He's listening to Motown. Motown. Yeah. More like a classic rock kind you of. You are. Guy. Yeah. All right. Top. He top. dabbles in Spanish music too. Oh, nice. You know who uh, also likes some Spanish music? Yeah, who? Tell me. Uh, our buddy John Sutcliffe, who you yeah. can listen to his podcast with Emiliano Grillo. Como se ve desde la cancha. All right, check that one out wherever you get your podcast. Have you listened to that one yet? No, I don't Or are you just so. only focusing on, on the fact that you're the cover <laughs> photographer? Not at all. Oh, okay. I'm just looking forward to right. the next the next thing. I know. I'm kind of excited for the next cover. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to say what we're doing down there yet. Okay. In fact, every time we've said the word <laughs> We're just going to bleep it out so people have no idea where we're going. Because yeah. what I'm scared is similar to Hafe. Like, like Hafe can't even walk around a golf course now. He's just mobbed by fans. Mm -hmm. uh, people see the bucket hat. Know. You know, you, you tend to have your, your little hat uniform, the flat brim, normally black hat. Gray mm -hmm. shirt. A couple different brands. Gray shirt. You occasionally branch out and wear gray. Um, but I don't, I don't want you having to deal with the crowd control issues that, that Hafe has to deal with. Uh, I'm a little more discreet. You are, you are. the The first time I worked with Cliff was mm -hmm. two years ago at the place that we just. Going. I'll just say, yeah. bleep that one out too. Um, and and our other photographer was a little more up close, like with the players, like chatting with them or whatever. And and Cliff had long lenses that day, and you would just back up further and further to get the shot. And it was like amazing for me because I never once had to like worry about like, are we in your way or like kind of, you know, like stopping down or whatever. But I love that you figured out different ways to get the shot and almost kind of like, like a chameleon, kind of like blend in a little bit. You also have a cool snake story. Can we tell the snake story? Oh, we can, yeah. All right, let's, we should have led with that. We should have definitely led All with right, the snake story. All right, tell people story. the snake story. Snake story. So I used to watch a lot of Crocodile Hunter when I was growing up. Yeah. Loved Crocodile Hunter. Uh, was, yeah, huge. Uh, Steve Irwin fan and uh, one day I was hanging out with some friends in this parking lot and uh, a rattlesnake came cruising by right and so I saw that as my moment to like <laughs> put all of the you know stuff I'd learned from TV mm -hmm. to use but I didn't have a fancy snake catching tool so Correct. I just I took off one of my shoes and pinned down the snake Mm. Right behind its head. A rattlesnake. A rattlesnake, yes. Okay. Pin it down with my shoe, grabbed the, the snake right behind the neck. Mm -hmm. Were you filming this? No film, no footage, unfortunately. Oh. And I picked it up, and just as I was about to be like, hey, like, check out what I got, the snake like t was able to turn around and bite me in the finger. Mm. You got I bit did... by a rattlesnake. Yeah. They're I was pretty nimble. Yeah, you... you turns out like i should have grabbed it like by the head no no yeah. no no turns out you shouldn't have grabbed the rattlesnake cliff <laughs> no but well, when you get a snake you're like aren't you supposed to put like thumb like back on the on the top of the no, no, you're not like, supposed to grab eyes. a rattlesnake i'm just saying from a fellow crocodile hunter fan i think that's how it's supposed to go I know, then I'm pretty... they can't whip around like they did to you there okay yep. so so that you get bit by the rattlesnake critical error there. that hurt 
it hurt. It felt like someone shot off my finger. Yeah. Um, so what'd you max, do at this point? Max pain level. Was it a baby? It was a baby rattlesnake. It was only That's like two, two and a half feet long. No, no. The mistake was grabbing the rattlesnake. But babies can't control their venom. I get it. Correct. So that's what, that was the other error in judgment. Okay. Um, so you, you <laughs> got, got inject rushed, all their venom. Rushed to the hospital. Rushed to the hospital. My friend drove through every red light and stop yeah. sign on the way there. Yeah. I bet you were angry at this point, showing a little bit of emotion. Mm, or were just, you more scared? I don't know. I, I was just... Yeah, I guess I was like just concerned with like yeah, like oh that wasn't part of the plan, you know. No, <laughs> if it was part of the plan, it would be like the worst plan ever. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I was going to succeed. I never considered that what right. would happen. So what happened? You get wrong. to the hospital. The doctor, you have to look at that. Like what happened? You know, you go because I've recently been in the ER. You go to the ER and you're like, hey, I got bit by a snake. Did they immediately look at you like you dope? No, Why are you grabbing a snake? They were. I think they were also concerned because they don't get too many. Like, yeah. I don't think it's that often. Well, but, I people mean, don't people try to in pick San Diego, snakes. it does happen. Yeah. Um, but I was I wasted 45 minutes at the first hospital because they ended up not having anti venom. Oh no. Oh. And they didn't realize that for a while. They gave me a tetanus yeah. shot. Right. Um, they had me doing jumping jacks basically because yeah. blood flow. One person. One person would tell me put my hands below my heart. Right. One person would tell me to put my oh, hand my above God. my heart. Oh. And then finally, like the doctor came by and like yelled at me. He's like, "What are you doing?" Like. Put your hand by your heart so it stays like got it you don't flow mm. and so uh, i needed to go to a second hospital yeah they stuck me in an ambulance mm -hmm. my friend who drove me to the to the hospital wanted to get in the ambulance because he loves speeding and stuff like that uh, turns out that the cops actually showed up at the first hospital looking for us because the cops got, yeah because we had sped the whole way there oh well, for with good reason. Yeah, with good reason. I'm sure oh my God. Saved my life. So, it seemed like. So you go. Sense. You so go to the second the hospital. Ambulance. We go to the second hospital. They give me. Uh, they have anti venom because now they know you're coming. Yeah. How much anti venom do they give you? They give me three and a half vials. Okay. Wow. Um, and how'd that feel? It, I mean, it still hurt like max pain. Right. My finger turned black. My hand swelled. Um, Almost mm. triple the size, looked like a baseball glove. Oh Amazing, gosh. all the way up to halfway up my bicep. Mm -hmm. And uh, at one point, because of the venom and the pain medication that they were giving me, mm -hmm. I like couldn't breathe. Yeah, because my muscles were like flexed in my body, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like relaxing because of the pain medication. Mm -hmm. um, so I was almost not able to breathe, and they were yelling at me like to breathe. Oh my god! Like, multiple doctors and nurses all surrounding my bed. Wow. Um, but eventually I made it through the most extreme part and yeah. I was in the hospital for three days. Yeah. Jeez. So, so next time we're at a shoot and a snake comes up, are you, are you still Redemp crocodile hunting or are you, are you over this? Redemption. Really? Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So, so can I offer a couple thoughts and or suggestions? Yes, of course. Okay. Let, let's buy you a nice glove that would be, you know, maybe snake bite proof. Cause if you notice a lot of the shows, sometimes their, their hands are not always Exposed. there the other thing is you know what they normally carry with them about 10 feet away that's off camera anti-venom anti -venom. Uh, yeah that's like professional level i don't know if i'm yeah but now that you're a cover now that you're you're, you're you're a cover shooting photographer i, I think you've got to start acting like a pro or maybe we upgrade to you know when we're in the place that we're not talking about well bleep out that animal because that eliminates that that basically says where we're going <laughs> i'm just trying to make this fun I, I could think be good for like a, we, just, we just literally had him talk about how he almost died getting bit by I a know, rattlesnake. And he said he wants redemption. And then, like, then what? Well, let, you let have us to film keep it, going forward. Nothing else. Yeah. All right. Sure. All right. We still got to do the um, catching uh, catching a golf ball from someone's phone. I throat. know. I know. You know, we'll, we'll work on that. So Cliff has this idea. He, he thinks I've heard. Uh, when we were at Riviera, drives were hitting very close to where we were stationed. Cliff thinks he can catch one barehanded. So we're going to start with a, with a shorter club and a, and a glove. I have thoughts. And we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Uh, can you set the record straight? Can you pronounce your license plate? Send. Not C end? Mm -mm. No. Send it. Okay. Yeah. It's a separation of the first letter initial of my, my name and mm -hmm. the last, last name. Okay. Yeah. All right. But can the it's missing. It wasn't available. It's just sad. Really? Someone else has send it? Mm -hmm. That stinks. Do you, do you like check like every other week to see if you can get it? I was for a while, but now I've you've given up. Semi given up, but yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to switch the E to a three, and then I might be able to get it. Oh, nice! Mm. I like that. 
Yeah. Like it. That'd be a good idea. Hey, uh, where can people follow your work besides catalogolf.com, uh, the website, all our images? A lot of times the images on the Instagram are yours. Uh, but your, your personal work is awesome, too. Uh, you even supposedly have hair under your hat. I've never seen it. Yeah, you can see it on do. my Instagram. Right. So what is that? Uh, at send it. At C-E-N-D underscore I-T. So you could get send it on Instagram. You just can't get the license plate. Yeah, and I got the URL. If you go to sendit.com. Really? With a C. Mm -hmm. Sendit.com? It's pretty cool. All right. Well, as soon as we're done with this podcast, I'm going to go there. Check it out. All right, Cliff, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Thanks for yeah. having me. Hey, one of our other favorite podcasts, Lex, is yeah, the, the Fitting, Fitting room. room. And they have a brand new uh, segment called Face Off. Mm -hmm. You probably didn't think I realized that because I took my format and ripped it up. <laughs> yeah, but prior wondering. to ripping it up, I remembered that I had to say uh -huh. what we need to do between Cliff and the second part of this podcast, That's which right. we're going to completely make up because there's no format That's for it. True. We need to listen to the new Face Off segment from the Fitting Room. So here it is. Which hybrid would you say is the most well-rounded? Yeah, I'm gonna say Maverick. I think CG and and you know loft offerings and right. I mean like it's. I mean like it has one of the you know the most amount of off offerings that you can have as far as the the lofts go. And um, you know by having the glued hosel, you've got weight elsewhere to make it easy to launch, workable. It's kind of a nice little like right in between. And I'm gonna have to go with Maverick for this one just because of the AI technology. Again, how it's shaped, how it's designed. I know it doesn't have the adjustability, but all around performance, that Maverick is going to be uh, just a no-brainer. Welcome back to Ship Show. Again, make sure you download all the podcasts, part of the Callaway Podcast Network. Mm -hmm. You probably have already listened to the Ship Show since you're hearing me talk about it. Correct. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, rate, review. Fitting Room, Girls in Golf, the new John Sutcliffe podcast, which is titled... Como se ve desde la cancha. Uh, what else we have out there? Um, well, we have, uh, you know, windcast editions of yeah. the ship show, which yeah. are but really But that's all fun. on the ship show. That's if you're downloading ship, ship show, show, you're downloading ship show. Just saying. All right, let's get to a couple things. Uh, really great week last week yeah. in Mexico and Puerto Rico, highlighted by our buddy Eric Van Royen. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never met him. I'm looking forward to meeting him soon. Me too. Maybe at one of these shoots, but uh, obviously played out of his mind. Uh, Callaway won the driver count both in Mexico and in Puerto Rico, which was yes. the opposite event of the World Golf Championship, and then won the putter count in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, everybody in the tour team. That was awesome, awesome, awesome work. Yeah, really cool. Half the balls in play had triple track, which yeah. was really awesome. Um, it was just a good week. Yeah, it was a really good week. week. It was. I love that golf tournament. It's a yeah. fun golf tournament to watch. The crowd, the the first tee starter. I said this on Katrick and McGinnis. The oh, first yeah. tee starter is the best first tee starter in golf. Everyone bar none. was He's that the best. was that was like the highlight of my golf Twitter. I think over the weekend, everyone kept mm -hmm. saying like. Give this man a job, yeah. like full time. Yeah. He he should have he should have been at Wilder Fury, mm -hmm. you know, introducing those guys. That would have been really Fury. good. All right, um, so I want to talk a little bit about the Honda Classic because okay. I like the Florida Swing. I grew up down uh, about an hour plus south of the Honda mm -hmm. uh, in Jupiter, probably an hour and a half south down in South Miami. So I always used to love when the tour used to make its first start at Doral. I used to go every year as a kid way before you were born mm -hmm. um but it always was something that was always special to me yeah. uh a lot of uh, you know greg norman used to say the tour doesn't begin to the floor to the to the florida swing because uh, that's when most of the euros and he obviously he's not european he's australian a lot of the international players would make their debuts so you're mm -hmm. going to see some of that coming up um but taylor gooch 10 straight cuts made top 10 at riv top 20 last year at honda uh this guy is just playing so playing consistent golf. yeah and pj national is similar to Honda in the sense they're both really stern tests. You can't hide any part of your game. Similar to Riv. Similar to Riv. What did I yes. say it's similar to? Honda. Well, it is similar to Honda because it's where they <laughs> it's fly the Honda. Honda. <laughs> All right, Matt and Smith, Honda debut, sixth in Puerto Rico, five top 20s since the, the he got his card with the, the mm -hmm. year the that started around. the wraparound mm -hmm. since last year. Yeah. Um, I almost called it something else. Um, he's someone who, who's trending really, really well. He's also from South Carolina, I believe, and, and has grown up playing Bermuda golf courses, playing in the wind. Yeah, I think he's really going to adapt well. Yeah, in his well. favor with the projected forecast. Yeah, and, and the last one I want to give a little love to is Emiliano Grillo, Emmy. Yeah, Emmy. Um, he finished T3 in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. so obviously coming into this in good form. He lives a lot of the year on the west coast of Florida, not far from J-Rod, oh, yeah. uh, even though they never hang out. Um, and he's used to playing in the wind, used to playing in these tough conditions. In fact, 2018, he finished T8, and the wind was howling that year, yeah. like it was in Puerto Rico last week, and mm -hmm. they're predicting similar winds to 2018. Yeah, I think it'll be really good to see, um, you know, when Emmy's in in a mode, he he really like kind of lights up and he just he goes he goes for it. 
Um, we've seen it with his woods before, and he is very composed. So it's it's going to be good to see how like the weather compares, and hopefully Emmy's game will hold up. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, uh, we're going to wrap this one up, but uh, we apologize. We were trying to get Will Gordon on. I know we talked about it last week's show. Mm-hmm. He has some flight complications, yep. so the connection didn't get work out. We will have him on a ship show soon. But before we leave, I want to give a special congratulations to the person I've been texting all morning about Will Gordon, Jacob Davidson. Jacob manages our PGA Tour team, and he and his wife, Emily, uh, just welcomed yesterday Sarah Olivia Davidson what? into the world. Beautiful young girl, uh, newest member of Team Callaway. So cool. So congratulations to Jacob and yes. to Emily, and welcome to Sarah. We'd love to have her on a podcast as soon as she's able yes, to speak. someday. Yeah. Okay. And and lastly, uh, I think we can talk about it now publicly. The McAnellys are in town. Yes, I think so, too. Yeah, so we're going to have Super him exciting. on a uh, podcast in the next couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will get our Scottish to English translation, translation Trans- going, yeah. our translator, because that's what it's going to sound like. You're not going to so, understand a word he says. I'm so excited. Yeah, I was excited. I got to meet uh, his daughter, who's also named Emily. Oh, cool. I believe yesterday, and his son, uh, and his wife Vicky, and that was mm-hmm. super exciting. And uh, we're excited that they're part of uh, the Callaway Marketing family and here in uh, Southern California with us. Yep, we've had a lot of new additions to the team, and yeah. this is kind of our, our last pin, you know. Last pin? Uh, right. Is that last, like the T spelling or the T whatever know. we're doing? Last bead? I don't know. I don't. I can't think. Great of analogy, Lex. Analogy. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, this was probably one of the most interesting ship shows ship, we've ever a done. Shippy ship show. Yeah, I know. It, it, it kind of. Started one way. I think the uh, format ripping up was uh, done well. Did I miss anything on your ripped up format? Did you miss anything? That I was allowed to cover? Um, you know what? No, except for how we're closing this thing. All right. Well, well Should I, do well, I haven't missed it yet because we haven't closed it. I'm so sure. you and Finley are taking over the airwaves on Thursday. I we get a day are. off, thankfully. Our first A15 episode of the year. We're really, really excited about it. Um, Finley and I haven't been in studio together in a while, so it's going to be good. Good. Well, everyone loves to hear what Finley had to say. Finley had a couple cavities filled today. So oh. make sure you talk to him about that. I'll go to the dentist next um, week. Yeah. And, and Finley is very upset. Me and him were going to go tonight to the San Diego State hoops game. Then they lost. And oh. Finley's like, we're not going. So we're not going to the game. <laughs> oh, bummer. Which is fine. That's all right. That would be fun. We'll, we'll go when they play in the NCAA tournament if they end up on the West Coast. Uh, and we have a lot of uh, other big announcements coming up over the next couple weeks. One, we I think, is a product one later this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have another content series coming out next week. We have... Uh, some shoots all over the country. Uh, lots going on around here. Yeah, I was looking at my March schedule the other day, and I was like, yeah. wow. I'm gone the whole bye, month of March. By March. Yeah, I'm gone see for you, most of March. See you next time. Yeah, I'm gone for March. I'm gone for a little bit of April, too. Yeah, me too. I'm it's going to be... You're ta- well, you're taking time. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, well, trying to get out of here. Trying to not work 24-7. It's mm. my new goal. That's it's working out really my well. New goal. It's also been fun not March having. Is not gonna well, work. so the difference is I haven't had a boss for like six months. That's right. Because he's been over overseas. Yeah. So it's like I just tell him, you know, he I'm up super early. I talk to him. He's over in England. He's wrapping up his day. Then I'm scot free in the afternoon. Pfft, if only un- I could fun play. Fun intended. Yeah, really, scot free. <laughs> if only I could play golf. So one of these days. All right. Thanks everybody for listening to this complete ship show of a ship show. Lex and Jason, we'll see you on Thursday. You can stream or subscribe to The Ship Show on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, or the Hacker's Paradise mobile app.